Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm doing it on the handle swap right there. And I just want to talk about it quickly. So you, you're doing the helix and you end up with the bite handle and you want to continue it, but you end up doing this other awkward index rollover to get into a double rollout to get into your behind the eight ball. Alternatively, you can start off with the safe side and do your double rollout to behind the eight ball. So, consider trying this out. Look like one continuous trick there. I put the helix and behind the eight ball together there. For the slow mo, I am starting off with the bite handle and doing a double rollout. Starts between ring finger and middle finger, and rolls in between your middle finger and index. As I catch the safe handle, I'm also stopping it so the spine of the blade and bite handle can hug my index finger so I can carry the rest of the trick. So do whatever trick you want and get into this position here where your ring finger and your middle finger are now holding the bite handle. So you could do the helix, you could do, if you want to loop behind the eight ball, you could do that, but get into this position here. Again, ring finger, middle finger, holding the bite handle. The safe handle is on that side, pointing. And then you're going to swing that safe handle over your middle finger like that. Now I'm showing you this vertically so you can get an understanding of what's happening when it is horizontal when you're doing the trick because this is what you're doing when you're doing your behind the eight ball or whatever trick that needs to be horizontal. So you're just swinging it over your middle finger. <clears throat> now when you do that, you're just as quickly inserting and pinching with your index finger, which when you do that, when this safe handle kind of hits your ring, your middle finger, this thing's gonna like bounce and carry the motion so you don't have to use so much wrist movement to make it go around into behind the eight ball. So, so you're doing that, except the handle is going to go around with the spine of the blade. So horizontally, it's going to look like this. Again, like that. And then the rest is behind the eight ball. But because you're going to be doing like a whip rollover very quickly, you got to do this very quickly. Handle swap is very, f it's <clears throat> because you're adding the trick and minusing the extra index rollover to the double rollout, you gotta be very quick and start doing your behind the eight ball. Yeah, it's, a, it's fairly simple, but when you start using it in more advanced combos, it becomes a little bit Harder, I guess. Not really, but it is definitely handy to use and make tricks a lot more cleaner instead of adding the extra index roll in and double roll out, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah. I will add a few more other <clears throat> examples of how you could use it because it doesn't have to be just in this to add into behind the eight ball. It can be used in so many other ways. Just like in the beginning of this thing, I did a fanning combo and I ended up with the white handle, right? So I did that and did my behind the eight ball. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's fairly short. You guys have a good one. And of course,
my kiss goodbye. Alice kiss goodbye. Bye bye. So in this clip, I am doing it to get into a mid zero G. As you can see, it starts between the pinky and the ring finger this time, and it swings over your middle finger. Here I am doing it to get into a chatter. Overall, same trick, just different starting point to achieve different other tricks. Getting this locked down plays a huge role in the next tutorials to come. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.